hello 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 welcome back to my channel my name is charmaine and if it's your first time visiting thanks so much for stopping by and if it's not your first time visiting thanks for coming back today i'm going out of my comfort zone and i'm going to be doing i'm going to be blinging out this 20 ounce tumbler i got this from stainless steel depot and it's 20 ounces stainless steel i love it. it's so pretty i like the way it looks it's tall it's nice it's pretty and I'm like, I'm, it'd be cute to bling out yeah it's big i'm not looking for forever to do it but it's i love the way it is it's a skinny tumbler and i love how it looks and it comes to straw now yes i am used to blinging out things i bling out wine glasses i just finished this one And I put the glitter on the bottom of it. I did this one. I've done, I did this one. And they sell out so quick on my Etsy page. If you're not familiar with my Etsy page, go check me out. It's Charming Gal Boutique number two. All one word, Charming Gal Boutique two. I also do the stimulus ones. And they, I mean, these glasses sell out, okay? I love doing them. I see myself doing so long, so many times because every time I do some, put on my Etsy page and they sell out and I got to do more. I love doing these. But today, I'm going to try to bling out something big. I never did anything big like this before, so I am petrified. I've been looking at all the um, bling Facebook pages. Check out um, Beginners Blingy Blingers. Also, check out um, Blingology 101. And um, I've really been on, on their pages just trying to check out to see what's the best glue to use. Um, I'm going to be using, well, I just did a, a little test right here just to see which one I'm going to use. Um, I used Gem Tech before, but I can't, remember if I, I can't remember how it worked. I don't know how I liked it. I did a video, but I can't find it. Maybe I didn't upload. I don't know. But I know I did a um, video on comparing Gem Tech, but I don't know what I did with y'all. I'll be doing too much stuff. So here's the Gem Tech, and it's been sitting for like 30 minutes, and it's still white. And it's stuck though. And I this one right here been sitting. Oh, this is see how this is fall this sliding. See, I don't like that. I don't like that how that's sliding. This one right here is the heavy duty liquid fusion. Okay. And I put that up right here. And see how the bees are sliding? I don't like that. And this is still not stuck. I mean, it, it, but it's only been sitting for 30 days, 30 minutes. Well, about 30 minutes. Oh, I don't like that one. So I'm gonna go ahead with the <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do with the gym tack. They say the gym tack. Um, it, 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 um, dries clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. Cause I don't like the way that, how that's fault, how that's sliding down and it's, it's, mm. but it does dry clear. That's, I mean, it come out clear, but they said this come, this dries clear, but it comes out white. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead with my gut and I'm gonna use a gym tech. I've been looking on everybody's page X and everybody <laughs> what they use, what kind of glue they use, because I always use this on my glass. Okay. I, yes, I use the, um, E6000. Um, and it's odor free and I've been doing this forever with my glasses because people don't have to put their lips on the, um, on the beads on these glasses. Right. Um, and they said that this is toxic, but I've, I've used them. I use the glasses and I haven't had no problems with it, but I just want to try something different with these, with the big, um, tumblers. I might go back to this, but for the first, my first try, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Okay. And I'm going to put my lips on this either as a straw with it. So I'm really tempted to use the E6000, but I'm gonna go ahead and try something to do for I'm gonna go ahead and try the gym tech. It said gym tech. Um, a lot of people they, they agree with using the gym tech and they agree with using the um liquid fusion. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. What I did was I basically here's the one I'm gonna be doing. I basically painted this. They said use acrylic paint. So I use this right here. It's metallic acrylic paint. I got it from Hobby Lobby for $7.99. That's expensive. <laughs> But you can get this from um, Walmart for cheaper than this, okay? I just got, I like, I like metallic stuff. And then I also just put this vinyl, um, this is permanent vinyl from Cricut, 651 vinyl. And I just put this on here after I let this dry. And y'all, when I, but after I put this on here, I, I let this dry overnight, okay? And I put my name on here just about a couple hours ago. And that, um, that, that tape, transfer tape, lift the paint up a little bit. So you see it, it's moving. But I'm going to just go ahead and go with the flow. It's dry. So I don't know. It's just basically that tape is real strong and it, it, it pulled it up. It didn't peel off. It just pulled up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and start. I've been procrastinating for a while now. But I'm going to go ahead and do this cup. <laughs> yes, I'm scared. Okay, the beads I got, my beads from DecoCraft. 
Beats.com. She has a lot of nice. I buy all my beats from her. I buy my pearls for my glasses from her. And then I bought these for my glasses too. I did a um I did a glass. Oh here it is right here. I did this glass with this. So I thought like, this is a pretty color. Um, these are pretty colored beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these on this on this tumbler. And I just ordered some more so I can get the crystal. I'm gonna get like the um glass beads. These are not glass, these are risen jelly beads. So these are the gold jelly risen beads from um, Deco Craft. Okay, check her page out. She got Blingology 101 on Facebook. So these are five millimeters, and these are the I don't know, I think these is I don't know, they look like they're bigger. So I just say six millimeters. So, um, and then I also have this purple, you know, that's my favorite color. So I'm going to use these purple flat backs for my name. Okay. And then I have a couple more of these. I guess this is the same kind of bead. They literally, yeah, they about, see, probably two millimeters. They so said, I've been looking at a lot of different videos and seeing what size you should use. You should use like between the two millimeters to, um, five millimeters for, um, tumblers and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, it's called the honeycomb method. Now, let me tell you, this is my first time doing this, y'all. So, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I want to put it on video because this might be my last time doing it. <laughs> if I like it, I might go ahead and keep on doing them because I just love the way they look. I love the way the, the um, glass beads shine and the risen beads, they shine a lot too. Um, I do my glasses. You can see this is shining. You can see how my, my ring light is in the way, but... I like it. So we're going to try. The only reason why I'm trying this color because I don't need So I see I have a lot of these. So let me go ahead and try to use these. And if I run out, I basically order some more. So they should be coming in soon. So if I run out, I'd be cool. But I heard you had to use these about 5,000 beads. I don't know how many beads are in here. But um, we're going to see. And if I run out, I just have some more coming in. That's the reason why I chose this color. Because of the um, I have a lot of these left. And I don't want to use pearls. But people do use pearls on the tumblers. But I don't want to use pearls. I want to use small beads and see how they work. This is my first time doing it. So... Let me stop talking and let me get to going. And okay, like I said, I'm going to be doing the honey mode, the honey cone method. And what I do is I just pour some beads inside of um this um lid. And I have some lids coming in that to help you flip over the beads. I have some of them coming in too. I order a whole lot of stuff. I'm always ordering stuff. These are bigger. These are bigger. So I'm going to use the bigger ones first. And these are bigger. Now I can see in the light. So I just basically shake them, shake them, shake them until I, I put them so I can know which one I use. I said, which one I'm, I'm going to use a gem tech, right? Yeah, gem tech. And then I have my um my crystal container. I got this from Michaels. It's like twenty something dollars from Michaels. You can see I've been using this on a lot of glue projects. I didn't clean it off yet. I bet you spread my glue around when I'm using it. When the glue gets too thick, I just spread it around with this end right here. But this is really nice to use for the um beads. Okay. And now the honeycomb method I hear that you basically go around all the way around. And then when you get back to going to the second round, you basically put the beads in between the uh, the front, the first round. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna try, go ahead and try. I'm gonna go do this whole cup on video. I'm gonna do the first line, and I'm gonna come back and do the other line, where you know half of the cup or whatever. But I'm not gonna do this whole thing on video. Okay, it's gonna be way too much to do. Okay, so I put my um gym tech in a little small container I got from the hair store because it was my that tube wasn't working. I guess it was just old. Okay, so I just basically say have control of your glue. And already I don't have control of my glue already. <laughs> I got too much coming out. So this is my first time, so don't knock me. Um, I'm just going to spread out a little bit. I'm going to just do a little bit of time because I know, I don't know how good this, how fast this, this dries because I don't use it. But I know how easy it sticks and dry, okay? So what I'm going to do is just wipe some of this off because I'm not, this, this is too much right here. Yeah, my hand gonna be sticky, but it's cool. And you might hear like a, a little motor in the background. Yes, I am um spinning my cups. I'm doing some um tumblers, um fabric tumblers. I am really have been having fun doing tumblers and blinging wine glasses lately. So that's my new kick right now. I haven't been been doing I haven't been doing that many t-shirts and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of cups. So I just opened my Etsy page not too long ago and I, my sales are coming from my cups so i said let me go ahead and start doing these cups i don't like the way these these are not flat they flat but they come off they they rise up off the off the cup a little bit so hopefully they stay or i asked if these beads was okay to use for cups 
I really don't like the way they, they rise up off the cup a little bit. They're not, they, they, they call flat backs, but they still rise up, up, they rise up off the cup a little bit. Yo, am I doing this backwards? I think I'm doing them backwards. They're supposed to be turned the other way. That's why. They are flat back. They, they're supposed to be turned the other way. But I use. Uh, oh, yeah. That's how I do it on these glasses, too. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm doing them the wrong way. They're supposed to be turned this way. And I turned it this way, which would be cuter this way. <laughs> do you think it'd be cuter that way? Girl. Yeah, this is not the right way. So I'm going to take these off. And start over. Yes, I'm gonna keep this video on. I'm not gonna delete this video. I'm gonna see what I told y'all what to do it. What I did. I like the way it looks. This is so pretty on this side, don't y'all think? It's cute, but it's not the right way. It's supposed to be turned the other way. Like, I'm doing this like I'm a newbie, like I never did this before. But it looks so pretty this way. So what I'm gonna do is they're not. It's not dry, which is good. I'm going ahead and just knock these off and start over. Those would have been cute. I was like, these are not flat backs. <laughs> I'm going to take these off. And nope, I'm not starting over. I'm glad I didn't use E6000 because that wouldn't have worked. I'm not going to delete this. I'm not going to take this out. I told you it's my first time. Y'all can hit, y'all can um, push thumbs down if y'all want to. But I'm real here on this channel. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over this with the glue. Those would be so cute that way, y'all. We're going to head and go do it the right way. But I was saying, like, they don't look like no flat backs. <laughs> I was doing them backwards. There. See, I'm going to not like these then because there's not going to be no a lot of, it's not going to be a lot of blinging. Even though it's, it's blingy on the, let me just shut up. <laughs> now, when you have a little bit too much glue, you just take your, um, Little back of your thing and just spread it like this. I just don't like that whiteness inside of inside the glue. I mean inside between the beads, but it's gonna dry clear, y'all. So I like people say to myself, it's gonna dry clear, y'all. <laughs> I just love E6000 because it's clear and you don't have to worry about it. But like I said, people come on saying how toxic it is, toxic it is. So I'm just gonna hit and try another glue. And pray that it works. Um, like I said, I've seen a couple of videos using um this glue that I'm using, the gym tack, and she, the lady tried to pick them off and they didn't come off. So I'm gonna go with it and test it out. And maybe my next cup, if I depend on if I do another cup, which might not be this big a cup, I might do like a wine glass, a wine tumbler, which is smaller. But I'm gonna put, I am gonna do this cup and I'm gonna put it on my Etsy page. And if somebody likes it, if somebody buy it, well, you know, I'm gonna say I can personalize their name on there. If they buy it, of course I'm gonna do more. Etsy is a really good, if you're trying to get your business going, Etsy is a really good place to start. I love Etsy. When I got on Etsy, I was getting all kinds of sales. I had a, I have a website, but um, I'm getting way more sales because people don't know you when you, when you got a website, people really don't know you. But Etsy, people, everybody on Etsy, and they search for what they're looking for, and if you got what they're looking for, they go right to your store. So that's why I love Etsy. So I've only been, doing Etsy, only been on Etsy for like a month or so since we've been in quarantine, probably about three months. And I've been, I've got over 80 something sales. So it is a really good platform and I like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the road now. I'm putting the bees on the right way. <laughs> My channel is real. So if you, um, Expect me to delete that part where I messed up. I'm not going to delete it. Because I was like, wait a minute. I know these beads are supposed to be flat. And they're not sitting flat. They were, but they were so cute. On the other side. So that's the reason why I painted this cup this color. So it can match the beads. Okay. I mean the rhinestones. So make sure they stay close together. And you got enough time to move these around. Like if I was using E6000... I would not be able to move these beads around. Or I would be able to get them off. I had to really use a knife or something to get those off. The first mess, mess up go around that I just did. Yeah, I'm making my own words. Mess up go around. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to connect the um do the other the, the second line, okay? Okay, I'm back. I know it's not dry yet. It takes a while to dry, but um, and it should dry clear. So see this one right here, the first two, they are drying a little bit, you as you can see. You won't see the white between it. Okay. So next time I know I'm just not gonna put that much glue on it because I don't like the way the glue is sticking, you know, squeezing through the sides. But it did fit perfectly. It was no space left between as I did my last bead, it fit perfectly. So that's the great thing about it. I believe these are five millimeters and these are four. Okay, the ones I'm using right now is five. So I don't know. Um I might go back and forth and use these if I need to, but right now I'm just doing the five to see how it works. I know you can use fillers and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and put some glue on it. Second row. This time I'm trying to control my glue. Like I said, when E6000 come out, it's so easy to um control the E6000 glue. This right here is kind of kind of um liquidy, and E6000 is kind of stern and, and and it's thick. But then after this dry, it gets a little thicker. Okay, I need to. Next time that I know to get a little closer to the other beads. It's a learning process for me, y'all. But it's all I do is scoot it up here like this with this. Just like so. Learning process. I get when I get to use like I said, I'm not used to doing lines. I usually do scattered. I usually do the, the um on my glasses and stuff, I do the scattered. This is called the honeycomb method. And they said, I don't like the way, I mean, some people do the scatters and it's cute. Some of them I don't like. So I said, I'm going to try to do the honeycomb method first. Then I'll do the um, scatter later. So the honeycomb method, basically, you basically put the um, stones right in between the, the top row, okay? So you see how I put that one right between these two? So I'm going to do that for all the rest. I'm going to just go ahead and put them between them, okay? Which is leaving space a little bit. That's how they say do it, so I'm gonna do how that wouldn't leave any space. That one worked how really good. Okay, so you just put them next to each other, but the first one started right in between the one on top. So I'm not gonna do I'm just gonna basically just connect them all. I'm not gonna worry about the between the other ones because I don't want it to be no space between it. So I might not be doing it right, y'all. <laughs> it says well, I think they said to start the first one in between. Because, look, I can't start. I mean, some of them are going right in between. Some of them are going in between. Some of them are not. So, I don't want to do no space in, in between them, though. I do not like how this glue is um squeezing out. Then the doggone beads are starting to get on top of each other. So, just make sure you press them down. It's gonna be a, this is a learning process, y'all. I'm gonna say it again because I'm not used to these. I'm not, I'm not used to these small beads. I'm used to the big pearl. I use pearls for my um. And the way this is going, I ain't gonna have enough glue. I'm gonna grind the glue real quick. I'm gonna have to go get some more glue tomorrow. I got this from Amazon though. They probably have my. I got to make sure to see if they have my Joann's. And Mike was back open, so I'm gonna check and see if they have it. I just hope it blings out. Uh, like I said, I asked people, I went on this group, and I said, Will these look okay? Will they bling? Or should I wait till I get my gold? My um, my um, what's they called? The glass beads. These are not glass, these are risen jellies. Then I seen how the lady had these on her site, and it was on clearance. I'm like, Why are they on sale? Nobody not buying them, of course. So, but it's cute. I like, they, it's cute. <laughs> and I really don't like gold. I like silver. That's why I was really wanting to get to do the glass beads. But glass beads are really exp more expensive than these. And I want to do a cup that's going to be, I waste a lot of money on. These are not that expensive. These beads, it was like, you can get $3,000 for like $4.99. But the glass beads is like $14. 
for like three thousand, I think. So these are way cheaper. So let me go ahead and start try this first before I miss up, you know, spend it. So this would be my practice cup, and then I can be able to do my glass beads later on a smaller cup, probably if I don't, if I feel like I, this is too much work for me. But I thought the wine glasses was gonna be boring to do when I first started that. I'm like, it's gonna be boring, but I love doing the wine glasses. I know I said that before. Sorry for repeating myself, but I do. It's relaxing, and I just like it, how it look after you get done with them. It just it, all of them is different. You never have the same, the same glass. And that's why people like to buy them because it's, it's, you can't make the same glass twice unless you're really studying the beads and making sure you put in the same spot. They are unique. Yeah, I'm not following this honeycomb method, y'all. Because I'm not putting these beads in the middle of these darn things like they told me to. And now I can see. I need to do that because it's not going to work if I don't. Now I see what I'm doing. Not fitting in between like they're supposed to. And I can tell they're not. Let's I put one right here. A filler. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to follow the rules, y'all. <laughs> I just put a filler right there because now I can see that it is really pretty when you follow the rules and put them in between, like they said. And it will be a space in between. But I think it all work out. Comment below. Have you done Have you done any um blend cups? And what's your favorite? What glue do you use? This is my first one, so I don't know what glue I'm gonna use next time. So I need some help, y'all. And do you like the um what beads do you like better? Do you like the um resin? I hope I'm saying it right. Resin beads, or do you like the glass beads? Of course, the glass beads are more expensive, but of course they they pretty. But I heard that the resin beads they shine also. Some more, it's some other not can it's some other name brand B. It's another, it's other names of bees too out there. Right now, I don't even know about the oh, the AB. How about do you like the AB? Which is like different colors, I guess. I'm still used to getting to understand the different names and stuff of these bees. I'm trying to tap this glue out. There you go. Get up some. The ABs look kind of pretty, but then I, I just don't know. I mean, I just want to make sure I get the right colors. Because you don't want to have a color that's not, you know, working for you. So I just said, let me go ahead with a plain color. And I'm going to use um, purple for my name. And I go for that. But like I said, I like gold. I mean, I love the silver co the color silver, so I want to get the um clear beads. But I said let me, I got these right here, so I, and I couldn't wait for the shipment to come in because that's how I ordered some beads. It's still, I'm still waiting on them. This um quarantine, this COVID nineteen got these the millers. You know, um, it's crazy. Shipping is crazy. I'm still waiting on stuff to come in the mail. That I haven't received yet. So it's crazy. So here we go, y'all. Second row. It looks crazy because the glue is not dry. It looks crazy to me too. This is my first time. So I'm like, ugh. Hope it turns out right. But it's, it's drying. You can tell it's drying a little bit. Okay. You can see that with that ring light in there. But this is my, this is my second row. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to come back. Probably when I get to my C. And then I'm going to um, probably come back and do the bottom row and then start going around. And I think I'm going to do my name. I don't know. <laughs> my first my first cup. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll be back to show you the results. Okay, I'm back. I've been working on this cup for like two hours. So this is, a, <laughs> this is what I got done. I did a couple rows with, with y'all. And I did the rest of this. So it took about two hours to do the rest of this, okay? So I just wanted to come back to show you it have not dry. It's not dry yet. Um, I really don't like this glue because it's showing a white. But people have been telling me it's gonna it's gonna um dry clear. So we're gonna see. 
um so i need to tap in the bottom and now i'm going to show you how it's going to look why i'm starting to start my name okay um i know basically i'm using this tool i got this from the hair store it's kind of making the glue really spread out a lot so i'm gonna end up trying to pick a, get a tool that make the a needle so it can be real thin it'd be so much better like i said i hope i didn't mess up this cup i hope it will dry and i can clean the glue up um but next time i would definitely not start a cup unless i have a the, this the needle thin needle that that you know put the glue on your um the cup in a straight line i watched a few videos and i seen that so i ordered one but it's not in yet it's just basically the it's too much glue coming out at one time but i'll just assume like i said i use a lot of glue i use the same kind of i use this with my e6000 i just use the, 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 the exact I use this like I used it just like this, and it's okay because I have big pearls. Okay, I use the pearls, small pearls too, but this is clear, and you can see how this is getting like it's kind of thick. And E six thousand does not you cannot see E six thousand when I'm when I'm working with it, but you but I can see this. So hopefully it dries. I mean, this is where I started off at right here, and it still look white, and it's been over three hours since I started this cup. Okay. So, we're going to see. But if it's not, I'm going to still use it, of course, because it costs too much money. These cheap, these cups are probably like eight, well, about $6. Then the beads are, these were only uh, about $6 a pack. So, I'm, you know, all together in this cup, it's probably about $15 so far. Because I have a couple more different size beads, different packs of beads. These beads, I'm going to, these rhinestones I'm going to use, they are purple, they're flat, they're different. I don't know the name of these are. I know they're not risen. I don't know. I'm still used to getting used to these, but they're flat backs. And it's mixed up because when I bought these, um, it came in a it came in a, like a starter kit like this from Deco Crafts, and they just got mixed up and all. I opened it up and it just splattered everywhere. So now I'm just trying to pick out the small purple ones so it can fit on my name. So we're gonna see how that goes. And I'm gonna start with this little loop right here and see how much we can get done. Just so I can show you. See how I'm gonna show you how thick this um glue come out. And I'm just well, right now I'm just tapping it. And I'm running out of glue, y'all, too. So I'm definitely gonna have to go to Joanne. See, see how thick it is? And when you if, if you get that tool, that needle, it'll work so much better. But I already started, so next time I know, if I do another cup, I'll know better. If you like the content of this video, please um like this video subscribe to my channel hit that red bell so you can be notified when i do more videos i do videos on all kind of stuff y'all if y'all been following me on youtube y'all know that i there's a crap that i, I there is not a crap that i haven't done and if it is i'm going to be trying to do it okay so just um know that i'm i'm you know let me know what y'all want to see though because i've been running out of ideas like I said, I never thought I was going to be doing a bling cup. Oh, let me go ahead and go online. Go on live. I mean, let me go ahead on YouTube and do this because I might be the last time I'll do it. <laughs> and I know after, after I do it, people going to ask me how I did it. So I said, let me go ahead and do it. Get out the way. So I won't disappoint them if I can't find like doing it again. <laughs> and this is just, I'm just, I just do not like the messiness of how this glue is looking right now. Even though I know it's, it might clean up, I just don't like it. It's scary, like, how it's looking right now. So I'm going to use big beads back here because this is, the, the, let's see, back right there is a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to go back down to the smaller beads, and hopefully that'll look right after it's all said and done. And it's going to be hard to find some beads to go in the little space right there. This is hard work, y'all. <laughs> like I said, the glasses are much easier. You don't have to worry about... All these little detailed things just scatter, put the beads wherever you want to and call it a day. Of course, it's not sticking because I need more glue. Okay, so that part is done. Let me go ahead and start going with letter C. Girl, I'm really looking at this, let this, this glue like, ugh. <laughs> It's the way you can clean up the glue with vinegar. What is it called? Some kind of vinegar. Um, I know what it is. I just can't. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. 
some kind of vinegar, but it's not regular vinegar. You can clean this up with that with vinegar. So I'm gonna try it in a toothbrush. I'm gonna try that, and hopefully that'll get all this after it sit. That I guess it's supposed to sit a couple days. I'm gonna ask more questions. You know, I always find the answers. You know, check these groups out. Like I said, I don't know everything. I tried a lot of different things, but they don't mean I know everything. People always say, well, you're going to find, figure out a way. Yeah, I'm going to figure it out, but I still don't mean <clears throat> I know it from the get from the get go. I got to figure it out, find out ways to figure it out. But I love learning new things. I'm always online or on YouTube trying to find more things to design. Probably this is probably too big. I'll be going back to work in two more weeks. I've been off for almost two, well, about two months, a little bit more over two months. So I'm trying to go back out, have a daycare on my own daycare. So I miss my kitties, my kiddos. This is probably kind of boring for y'all to see, but people are going to ask how I do it. So I'm going to show you. Please check, please check out my Etsy page. I have so many. I just started an Etsy shop, and I'm very excited about it because it's doing really well. It's Charming Gal Boutique, number two. All one word. I have, right now, I have free shipping. Everything um will be shipped out for you. Know, about paying shipping. Okay. So check me out, y'all. I love it. Hope y'all can see this the way this camera is turned. But it's hard to really... Um, position this cup in the way where I'm trying to put these beads on. These, I'm going to say beads. These rhinestones. So y'all know the next step will be me just getting all the um gold beads and putting them between here and in here and around here. And that's going to be my next step, y'all. You just basically find the beads and then you just get the smaller beads, the smaller beads in the smaller spots and put the big beads in the big in the bigger spots for spacers. Smaller ones are for spacers. Tiny one right there. And these sizes I have, they had to be like two millimeter all the way to four, I believe. I don't have the sizes here, y'all. Sorry. But they're about two to four millimeters. Okay, I just want to show y'all one more time before I go to bed. <laughs> I don't like it. It looks a mess to me. It looks sloppy. But we'll see when it's done. Maybe I'll change my mind when it's done. So I went ahead and put the beads, I mean the pearls in between the letters before it dry. I'm just squished them in there, glue everywhere. It looks a mess. I don't like it. I can't get none in between it, but I'll try to figure that out later. I'm tired, so I'm going to just let this go. Um... Took me about an hour to do this one, maybe an hour, hour and a half to get those those letters together and smush those beads inside of there. So yep, that's where I'm at now. So I will be back to show you um when the cup is halfway done. What I'm gonna do is I'm went ahead and did that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start going back around doing a honeycomb method, going back around and just basically meeting back up at the um the name. So I'm just gonna keep on going like I did here on the top. I'm gonna keep on going around and around inside meet probably. I don't know if I'm going to go up or down. I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'll probably just start from the top and go all the way down. That's what I do. Okay. And I'll show you. I'm going to let this. I'm going to take. I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'm going to see how it's going to look in the morning. I'll probably come back on in the morning to show you how. If it looks dry or if it looks cleaner in the morning when I wake up. So see you then. Hello. I am back just to give you an update on my cup. I've been playing around with this cup because it's mine's. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've been going through. <laughs> Since the last time y'all seen me, um, it's, I did about probably three, probably about, I'm going to say four hours of work since the last time you saw me, okay? So if you rewind right before, a, a second ago, you will see how much I've done. And this is how much I've done within three hours, um, for a total time of three hours. Um, No, I didn't do a three hours straight. 
I would do an hour, write it down so I can know it's been an hour and I come back and do it again or whatever. Or if I do a two hour straight, then I come back. I just put on something on TV and watch it. I've been watching Fatal Attraction and For My Man on TV One. <laughs> What's well, on YouTube because I don't have cable. It's on YouTube. So I've been watching YouTube videos and also tutorials. So I'll just find something to watch and just start beating. Um, like I said, I thought it was going to be boring. It's okay. I like, I really get a kick of basically this is the honeycomb method like i was telling you and basically what you need to do is you put you you line up you do the first row right and you put the beads in the middle of the see i've been hard hard headed when i first started but you're supposed to put the beads right in the middle see right here how these two beads are right here and then i put one right in, the, in between those two beads that's how you're supposed to do it and you need to do it follow the rules because it will not it really looks good when you do that and you really can't tell. I can't really tell when I messed up, when I didn't do it the correct way. But I'm a, my next cup, when I'm doing it, I'm going to do another cup. And I'm the next time I'm going to do it with the Creole, I'm going to do it with the um, clear glass crystals. And I'm just going to do it the right way because then you're going to be able to see it better. But yes, I painted this cup and it, it matches. So, yes, it's very good that you um match up the, the paint with your rhinestones because look at this right here i don't know if you can see it good with the ring light but it's sometimes i'm gonna have little spaces and then right here the space i couldn't fit a little um i have two millimeters i couldn't fit in there so it's really good that i'm matching because if this cup was the same color the um metal color the silver color it would not it would look horrible because you would be able to see all these so now i know we i knew that's the reason why people paint their cups the same color but if you're using a clear rhinestone and a silver cup that 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 a go but this gold would not look this gold would not be pretty on a silver cup so just paint it and i use acrylic paint like i said in the beginning of the video so as you see i just did these one two three four these last four rows it took about an hour to do these four rows okay um and it's still wet and yes i was using my gym tack on this right here i'm using my gym tack but then i started playing around because i wanted to see how this fusion um this liquid fusion work. I'm like, let me go ahead and play around. This is my cup. So let me go ahead and try to see how this works before, so I know what to do in the next cup. So what I've done down here, I was playing around with the fusion. All this up here, all this up here is the um, gem tack. Okay, all of these beads are the gem tacks. You can see how that looks, how the glue, how the um, the light is shining on them or whatever. You can see the um, gaps and stuff a little bit, it's a little bit of gaps, but you can, but it's gold cup, so it's cool. And it did, it did dry up clear. The gem tag did dry clear. I was kind of scared about that. And you really can't tell. If you're really looking at it real close, yeah, you can tell this is glue in between it. But if you're looking, if I put it a couple, about a foot away, you cannot tell. It's it just like the color of the cup, okay? But down here, um, after going up 10 rows, so I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About right here, I was I had gem tag all the way down here. I did all these rows. This one from down here, gem tag. Up here, I started using Fusion just to see how it works. So if you can see, you can't even tell the difference what glues I use, can you? Or can you? You can let me know. From here to here, I use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. About right here from here, I use Gem Tech. Excuse my nail. I, I, I don't know if that is ink or whatever, but anyway. My nails are tore up because I took my nails off and now they look horrible. And I'm just waiting till they heal up so I can get them done. But um, from here to here... I use gem tack, and from here to here, I use the um, fusion. And you can't really tell. I like. I think I'm gonna go with the gem tack better. I'm just show you. Let me just show you the, the, the 360 how it looks. You can tell what I what I've been using. Let me see if I can change the light a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. <clears throat> so as you can see. You really can't tell that I use a different kind of glue, but you could probably tell a little bit because I did change the sizes because I was running out of I'm running out of beads, y'all. I'm almost done. My rhinestones are almost gone. It's taking them a long time to um to send me my other beads that I've um ordered. So I might I'm go ahead and just use all the small ones. I'm gonna go ahead and use all the big ones. I think they're five millimeters, and then after I run out the five millimeters, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the small ones. This is my cup, so now I know. I don't know how many beads I had. I don't know how many rhinestones I had in the pack because I already was using these beads, these rhinestones, or something else. So I don't know how many rhinestones was in the pack that that I. I don't know how many rhinestones I'm using. Okay, but um, I don't like the liquid fusion. I like. Okay, let me tell you the pros and cons of this one right here. The liquid fusion, I like it because it does dry clear. As soon as you put it on there, it, it dries clear. But I don't like it because basically when you put it on the cup, 
and you place the um, beads on there, the beads move around. So sometimes I had to move, go back and fix some beads because they was on top of each other or they just moved around. Or either they would slide down just a little bit, but they was out of place. So I didn't like that, okay? It came out clear and it, clear, it, it dries clear. And um, it's not as thick as the um, gem tech. And um, like you said, like I, like you said, it's clear. You can't see it, but right here, because it still should be drying. Because I just did this about about thirty minutes ago, and this gem tack is still is still white. Okay, but I don't think I like this. I don't like. And then it also has a smell to this. Okay, it has a little smell. It's not as bad as E six thousand, but it's a little smell. And even my nails run a little bit, so I don't think I could be able to do a cup along a big cup like this and smell this glue. You know. Or either E6000. Even though I, as much as I love E6000, I was going to try to do E6000. But I probably have a headache trying to do a cup like this with E6000. Because E6000 is my go-to glue when I, for my wine glasses. I love it. And I was going to try to use do it on this kind of tumbler. But I'm like, nah, that ain't going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with Gem Tack. Okay? I don't like the way it... Um, it's, it's messy. It has glue all over my hands. It's... um, But the beads do not... I mean, the, the rhinestones do not... If I say beads, I'm sorry. I mean to say rhinestones, okay? But the rhinestones do not move when you put the um gem tack on. It stays. It don't move, and it's and it's. I like the way it sits, but I just don't like the way it it's it's white at there. And then I like I say, you can see the clumps a little bit. But I heard you clean that up with vinegar. So let me let, let me know if I'm wrong. Can I clean this up with vinegar without messing up my rhinestones? I heard somebody do it with vinegar and toothbrush. So let me know, and I'm gonna try that to. But you cannot tell. I mean, it's really clear, but I just wanted to see if I can get even clean, cleaner. <laughs> okay, so like I told, like I said, you can see half, half of this was um do the, um done with different glues just to play around with this to see how. Cause I, I I mean, it took me a long time to start this cup because I really wanted to know what glue to use, and I didn't want to mess this cup up. This cup is well, it's like eight about six dollars from um, but still, I know it's beautiful, and I didn't want to mess up this cup. So I said I want to leave know, make sure I got the right glue. So a lot of people saying use gem gem tack. And a lot of people said um, use the fusion. So I played with both of them. They said somebody else said just to play around the glue and see which one you like best. So I'm going to go right now with the gem pack. Don't, next time I think I'll do a glass, I got to figure out a, be, a better font, okay? I Even though I when I picked out this font, I tried to find a font that I thought could be, that it worked good. So that I know I have to put beads in between it. But this is not a good font, okay? Um, I don't know the name of it, but I put it in the description bar down below um yeah i think the next time i do it i don't want to put no name on it i just want to put the beads on it okay i'm not i'm a beginner so maybe i just do a couple without the name on it so yeah i just want to do me a nice crystal cup a tumbler crystal um tumbler next so I'm, i bought some of those glass beads so i'm gonna do that next but might not be right off and i'm not doing no videos but this is the only video i'm gonna be doing because this is very time consuming um, so I just, just wanted to show you the method. This, the reason for this video, I want to show you the method, and also to show you the different type of glues that I've that I've chose, and just to show you, you know, this is my first time, and I just want to show you my mistakes that I make, so you won't make the same mistakes that you, um, when you make your when you do your first cup. It's two methods. You can do the honey chrome, honey chrome, the honeycomb method, or the scattered method. I like the honeycomb because it's, you just you just in the nice area. I mean, it's just a a nice way of doing it because it's like it's going together. The scatter is what I do in my wine glasses. I just put beads everywhere. But I might try to do the scatter with pearls. I seen this one lady. She had a cup and it was so pretty. It was pearls. Um, I might just think about doing a smaller cup. Let me stop thinking about other things. Doing get this this one done for, for first, okay? But look at my cup. It's coming along. Just want to give you a good view of it before it's. I'm almost halfway done with it. I love it. It's going to be cute. <laughs> I am back, you guys. I just placed the last stone, rhinestone, on this cup. I am done. It took me nine hours to do this cup total. No, I didn't do it all nine hours straight. Like I said, I basically wrote down the time. I probably did, like, I probably sat down for an hour, wrote it down, then came back and did it. But two days straight, I went and worked on this cup, and I did this all in nine hours. It looks disgusting right now because the glue is not dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's don't look this bad i mean it might look bad in the camera but once i um after i take out the camera and look at it you can't really tell there's glue in the middle you see all that glue you can see all, like, how the how the glue dries and it's, you can see the film excuse my hands i've been glue i got glue all over them but yeah see that you can see the glue in the middle of it this is still wet but this is that's still wet right there but this right here has been dry 
for a day, you know, so you can still see it. And I heard that you can clean this with vinegar. Hopefully that'll you know, keep, keep the shine back. I don't know, but I'm going to try that. I'm going to let it dry for a day or two and then work on it as far as getting it cleaned out. Um, I know I did not do the lid because I didn't paint the lid. I painted the cup gold, but I didn't paint the lid. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might leave it. I might not leave it. I might end up painting it. But then I have to paint the straw. So I'm like, I'm not painting the straw. So I don't know, y'all. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> uh, next time I know to make my name a little bit bigger, I, I mean a little bit wider, I didn't think of that. Um, and then find a better th font because I really couldn't get um, the beads where I need to be. Like I didn't get no beads right here. As you can see, that's a cup right there. You can't, well, let me point to it, hold on. I'm holding my phone in my hand right now. Um, Right there, there's no beads in there. It was too tight, it's too tight. Right there, it's too tight right there. So I didn't get no beads in there. I couldn't get beads right here because it was too tight. So, um, excuse me for saying beads. You know, they're rhinestones. Right here, it's a lot of gaps, but the cup is gold. So that would save you a little bit. See, if I come back back like this, you can't even tell. And if it goes in sunlight, it probably will be better in the sunlight. Ooh, that broke. Oh, that's a tough beat. I got to get this one out because it's turned the wrong way. Oh, there it is. It just came off my table. <laughs> see how you can notice that? You can really see. If you, if you see something wrong, you can really tell. So I'm going to let this dry for a day. Then I'm going to go outside in the sun. And I'm going to show you how it looks at the end of this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And um, I will be showing you the end result in the sun if we have sun outside. <laughs> We've been it's been a lot of rain lately, so I'll see what I can do and I'll show you a nice picture of the cup after it dries. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed. My first bling cup that I made for myself. Yes, I'm taking orders. On my Etsy page. The sun is not shining, so you really can't see the sparkle in it. Thank you.